I hope you all had a nice week. I've been getting in the mood to try new drinks these days, and I've decided to try and make myself a honey matcha latte. It definitely didn't come out as well as it could have because my milk didn't get as frothy, but it's a learning experience for next time. Here we go again. Henry does this really ridiculous thing where he gets super antsy and he thinks his tail's chasing him and starts to run around the bed like a little panther. I went out to pick some things up at the grocery store and when I looked up, I noticed this speck of light in the sky. There weren't any other stars and I also don't think it was the moon. Does anyone have any idea what it could possibly be? Mmm, it looks so good. I've been craving chocolate chip pancakes for some time, so Eric and I decided to make them. We ended up mixing in walnuts, which added a nice crunch to our pancakes. I know they might look a little chunky and interestingly shaped, but they turned out tasting so heavenly. They definitely hit the spot. some homemade chicken tikka masala we made with things we had at home. Cheers! We used a sort of instant tikka masala sauce, sauteed in a pan with some cut up chicken thighs, diced onions, boiled potatoes, and garlic. The basmati rice and naan were from my earlier grocery trip, and apparently the naan was voted the best naan of 2020. Sometimes while we eat, Eric and I talk about the things we could have done better while we were cooking our food. The tikka masala was good, but I felt like it was still missing some things. We should have added more spices for a more flavorful taste and also should have boiled the potatoes for longer since they weren't as soft as I would have liked. Here I am, waiting for the train to head into the city for a solo adventure. Hey y'all, it's me. It's your girl. Hey babe. I made my way over to the Chelsea flea market and I really wanted that little toilet, but it was being sold as a set with the sink and bathtub, but those weren't cute enough. I came here looking for new coffee table books, little decorative pieces, and some art that I could hang on my walls, but I didn't end up finding anything I absolutely loved. I ended up just wandering around the city until I ultimately just decided to head home. Whenever I watch back the clips from my vlogs, I kind of get jealous of my past self. The food always looks so much better when, quote unquote, someone else is eating it. This is some jajang sauce that Eric's mom made for us, and though she told us to eat it with rice, we ended up just mixing it with noodles instead. On the side, we have some spicy kimari that we popped into the air fryer, which ended up being the perfect complements to our jajangmyeon. The food was so good, thank you so much to Eric's mom if she ever ends up watching this.
Today we decided to do pencil sketches of different parts of the apartment to try and get our creative juices flowing and also as a new hobby for us to try together. Figuring out where to draw and how to draw the space was a bit stressful but we actually ended up having a really good time. Here's an overhead peek at what they came out as. Maybe next time we do our, I'll leave in shots of the results, but as it's been a while, they didn't come out too well. While I was passing by the kitchen, I noticed that Henry was looking at something outside. When I looked to see what was out the window, there were a flock of birds that were greeting Henry. Because of COVID and all the precautions we want to take, we decided to have a cafe date inside the apartment. We made a latte for me, iced coffee for Eric, and pulled out some Tate's chocolate chip cookies as treats for us to munch on. We also put on some jazz as background music, threw on some matching corduroy tops, and sat down to talk throughout the night. Even though we were still inside of the apartment, because we were doing something that we don't usually do, it really felt as if we were outside at a cafe, spending time together like before quarantine. We ended up laughing about previous dates that we had been on and some of the ridiculous ways that we and other people have acted on them. We spent a lot of time talking about first date mannerisms and what types of preferences we had about people. For example, Eric's really sarcastic and enjoys people who can banter back and forth with him, while I prefer being really serious and trying to get to know them as much as possible. I made some salmon sushi again, but this time instead of making food art with the leftover salmon, I fried some shrimp tempura and put that in the middle instead. Even though my batter wasn't the best and I didn't even season the jumbo shrimp prior to cooking them, they came out so juicy and delicious. And just to preface the next clip, there are several Martha's Country bakeries around my apartment, but every time I check them, their creme brulees are either sold out or unavailable for delivery. It was National yeah, Dessert Day and Eric was able to find one that had creme brulee available and unknowingly ordered one for me while lying to me and telling me it was a piece of tiramisu instead. Okay, okay. From Martha's. <gasps> I was just about to start watching the movie Us with Henry before he left me alone to be scared by myself. I ended up getting freaked out within a couple minutes and switched over to Ponyo since I have never seen it before. This ramen scene is probably my favorite part since I feel the exact same way about food. I 
woke up one morning to the sight of these pretty shadows on the apartment next to mine and it reminded me a lot of my home and the mornings I would have there. Here's a sneak peek at some things I've been busy with. I'm currently working on a super exciting project and I can't wait to show you guys some of the process and the final outcome. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your week and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!